I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone. Turn around and drop it for a pan. Drop it for me. I went to Beach House in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hump day for me, whatever day it may be for you. I hope you're having a blessed day. Hey, doing the handicap, uh, do me, baby, because I got patches today. It's clouds. <laughs> no sunny Las Vegas. We got cloudy Las Vegas. And I'm sitting here stuck in traffic and I'm looking at the shade room. Serena Williams to show the picture of her baby she shared and she named her Alexis Olympia Ohanian Jr. okay you gonna start with the females with the junior <laughs> okay Serena you finna start a trend we gonna have Alexis Jr. we gonna have um, Keisha Jr. we gonna have um, Tiki Jr. which Akis are already our juniors but it is what it is, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? How y'all living out there? I say, um, just chit chat. I ain't really got nothing, nothing to talk about. So I'm just gonna truly ad lib. I seen online where I was watching, I think, um, beautiful soul video. Miss Phaedra want her job back. I say, yeah, we all seen that coming because she was selling. Y'all, I'm having a serious private summer. She claimed she wasn't renting a home or leasing a home, that million dollar home. And then she sold another one. I don't know if she had two or three properties, but you know, she invested. So when you need that money, that's when you sell. But uh, they say Miss Frazier trying to get that job back. And I say, see, sometimes when you're playing a pawn for somebody and you're doing people wrong and her, and her out of all people should know about karma. Sometimes it come back and bite your ass when you least expect it. And uh, it's a humbling experience also. Never think you're too good <clears throat> to be brought down a couple of notches because God will humble you. Okay? Let me see what else. Um, I see this season, y'all, I'm talking about just some reality shows and uh, chit chat. This season, uh, Kenya Moore, I see all the girls are gonna go after Kenya. They saying her marriage is fake. And uh, Miss Cynthia has become Nene Leak's friend again. And it looked like she jumped on the bandwagon for them to come for Kenya. <clears throat> I say, oh, Cynthia. I say, don't start feeling yourself, bitch. Don't do it, Cynthia Bailey. You used her and you was her friend while you didn't have nobody to deal with your ass. Kenya kept you popping, okay? And that's my opinion. And I'm sticking with it. Who cares? Because she dating somebody. <clears throat> and whoever the person is, uh, Peter came in with A.T. Elliot, and they did a video. You couldn't see it. It was messed up. But um, I guess dude is a shyster. I say, and he said, let her find out on her own. That ain't none of your business who she's screwing shit. I don't get it. While you was out there cheating on her and doing everything under the sun that you shouldn't have been doing, it was okay. She divorced your ass and went on about her business. And now... You want to warn her about who she dating. <laughs> if you don't go have a seat under the fuck section, I will punch you myself, okay, Peter? And allegedly he has a show coming on himself, you know. Some dealing about dealing with his um, bar none. <laughs> his sports bar in uh, wherever he at, North Carolina, South Carolina. But, uh, it is what it is. I say if Duchess and anybody else had any sense, when y'all end up being in the same place and y'all basically get kicked off of these reality shows, shit, y'all should get together and do some your damn self. And speaking on Duchess, I had heard, see what I had heard was she did a diss track <laughs> on uh, Dusty Caesar. Oh, God, really? She did a diss track. And uh, I didn't listen to the diss track. Yeah, I'm looking up here at this traffic. 
I didn't listen to it, but it was on uh, Caesar and I think uh, Sky. See, but everybody had automatically jumped on Sky side when she was on TV boohooing and crying and talking about how she, you know, she loves her kids and what? Well, no, she gave them up, but we found out that that helpful lost her kids. I said, mm-hmm, another one that got caught lying, okay? I just don't get it. You know what? <clears throat> One thing about the internet and, and the police on the internet, the people, they will investigate your ass. And that's just like what's coming out I get about this, um, <clears throat> what's coming out about the Kanika Jenkins story. They saying that uh, Fame had posted, there was a video, Irene Girl, I guess allegedly the BFF post is showing that she was alive after, or she was still living after she did that live video. So, you know, I know we the internet police and we all got our, you know, opinion, but that's what the police is for. And nine times out of 10, they know what happened. They sit back and they relax because a lot of people get on the social media and they get the posting or the police don't want you to know that onto your ass. And they get to deleting shit, and then that's when they get your ass, when you least expect it. Or they been already went into your um, accounts. And I'm like, you know, myself, personally, my opinion, <clears throat> if they were up to no good, I don't think that girl would have been on live. Monifa, I think that's the friend name. Everybody talked about Monifa. But, uh, you know, as I listened to the story more last night, Monifa called, I think that's the name, the BFF, y'all, hit me in the comments, I'm not always right, but uh, I think they called her mom and said, I got her keys and her phone, and I want to bring you her car, so now, you know, that's that's weird, and then the uh, girl's sister, Kanika, the one that got killed, her sister was like, bitch, get off of Facebook, post this shit and fight with folks and come help me find my sister. So it was a whole bunch of stuff going on that, you know, as I watched last night that, you know, I didn't see the day before. And each day more and more and more is coming out. And then they got some girl on there. She's Sherlock Holmes' wife. She just solved the whole case. But it sounds like what her theory is, is not true. You know, we know the hood rat. Right. The hood rich part where we hanging out with the friends and we doing this, we doing that, you know, but everything ain't the way it seems sometimes. And um, it, it, it sounded like that they went to a party, uh, they did a little kickback. Young little mama got shit face wasted, Kanika. And uh, I think Monifa, um, I'm thinking the BFF, whatever her name is, left with old boy she wanted to hook up with. And she left the girl there and the girl was too drunk. Them boys probably ran a train on that girl and was choking her and must have accidentally killed her. That's the only thing I'm thinking about, you know, that's what keep replaying in my head. And they took her down and put her in their freezer. And then the best friend was probably running around looking for the friend because she willingly went down to the police station. I think she's just scared. She's just afraid. And uh, believe it or not, it's going to come out. And somebody said, when they get to talking about you're going to do a year, two years, ten years or whatever, the, the truth is going to come out. But uh, you guys, it's just a little short chit-chat. And I want to say one more thing. Um, when I went to celebrate my children's birthday, before we did the local get-together, we all went and ate at Applebee's. Just a little dinner, you know. Because I want my children to know I appreciate you guys for every little thing you do. Because there's a lot of times I can't get up, I can't move around. I have these procedures, you know, these injections in my spine. And my children are really, really good to me. So I wanted to just give them a dinner because their birthdays were September 5th and 6th. And then we did a little get together that weekend on the 9th. But make a long story short, y'all, Miss Tiki with a good talking ass. About eight to 10 of us showed up at Applebee's. Now I'm a server 
and my brother he's a uh you know a director and we both you know we y'all we can y'all can see we all black so the server he was look like uh biracial and a very nice young man long story short that man gave us service from a scale on a one to ten it was a barely a four but i kept trying to you know we're not the we're not the group of people that that's gonna run you and mistreat you and and not give you nothing you know i'm in the tipping industry i take care of my people i don't care where i'm at or what i'm doing even for bad service i still tip this young man a nice tip so he treated us like shit i tried to go to him several times and secretly tell him i got two kids there you know sing happy birthday to he kept walking past me ignoring me so at the end my daughter had to run out because she had to go to work and uh I said, well, since you won't let me tell you a secret, can you at least do happy birthday to my son? You know, it's the little things in life that makes people really happy. We don't have much, but you know, they're adults, but coming together and singing happy birthday with your family and your friends, sometimes it just take you from when you down here to all the way up there. And we had just went in August for my birthday and the server was so pleasant. So make a long story short, he came back to the table with a little old bitty dish of ice cream and told me, oh, I went to my co-workers and asked them, would they sing happy birthday with me? And they told me no. And set it down and walked off. There's 10 of us at the table. You could have just said, Miss Tiki, I couldn't find anybody to sing happy birthday with me, but y'all come on, let's sing happy birthday. And y'all, this is the kicker, Applebee's. Cause I pulled a little boy aside and I still tipped him cause he's young. And I told him from now on baby, never looking at the cover. Everybody was upset at my table because I still compensated him. I didn't give him what I would have, but I did tip him. I called to speak to the manager the next day. He rushed me off the phone and treated me worse than the server. I said, you know what? I'm about to do a video and uh, I'm gonna blast their asses. All right, guys, y'all have a lucky day. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That's how we recognize over here, you guys. The more likes, the more views we get. And um, follow me over there on Instagram, Tiki44. And you guys, y'all have a lucky day. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys.